Hello, welcome. I'm going to do an intro for John Madden football. Though if you just want to jump to the gameplay, there is a link to that in the video description. There's also a link to the blog entry I'm doing for this, which includes a couple magazine reviews of the DOS version. So the Commodore and DOS versions released in 1989. I believe pretty late in the year, though I would count the whole year as the 30th anniversary of this series. And the Apple II version did release a year ahead of it, though, in 1988. So when people think of Madden, they probably think of the start of Madden being on the Sega Genesis. And though I don't have the first one, this is the second, third, and fifth versions of Madden. And this is more or less what led to today's Madden. I don't know if you'd have this, this without the original. They're quite different though. I assume EA would have still made a football game for consoles without this in existence. But they might not have worked with Madden originally, so... It might not have been called Madden at this time if this game did not exist. And this is a style of box EA used on a, a bunch of its games. And even when it's a different type of box, most of them do have this inner flap that has the credits and a picture of either the whole game team or just a few people. Here you have the person who conceived the game, Robin Antonick and, and John Madden, who did work on the game. So Robin is credited with game design, software design, and software programming. Pretty common back then to have a small team and one person with multiple roles. So it was also programmed by Ron Johnson with graphics by Michael Kosaka. And then Trip Hawkins also credited with game design. I think he more or less was the head of Electronic Arts at the time. Of course he went on to found the 3DO company. So this game has a lot of stuff. Being a simulation, there's a lot to explain. And I think their goal was really just to teach people about football if they didn't already know, or to offer something in depth for those that really loved, you know, digging into the little details of football without being too concerned with the gameplay, because I think it, this game really is more about calling the correct plays than the action on the field, because it, it's not very fast like it's not what you think and as I'll talk about while I play it you don't actually control any defenders you just call the defensive plays and then you can control of course some of the offensive players so the manual is over 60 pages there's a lot here you know they're talking all about football <laughs> giving you all the different names of formations in player positions and whatnot and explaining audibles and just everything in here that you need to know about football if you don't already know and from the main menu which is what's pictured here you can jump into a game there's a practice option and then there's the chalkboard feature which is where you go to create your own plays edit the playbooks or edit teams and here is the command summary card it's basically text stuff and some controls it does tell you to copy the game you really have to you need two blank discs to play this game even though this is only on one disc you need a data disc a game disc and a program disc side one and side two so there's a lot here of course I still have my program discs that I copied and then my data discs would have been where you you save teams that you create basically anything you edit but as you load games, there's a lot of disc swapping going on, which you'll, I'll definitely talk about when I'm loading the game and playing it. So, because you have to copy it, there's no copy protection on the disc. This is essentially their anti-piracy device. A variety of games had these. This is a code wheel. They're all different types of anti-piracy objects in game boxes, but this is one where when you load the game, it gives you a few details so you have to match this up and give them the code they want so this one called the season ticket it's like reading a ticket stub it'll say like maybe it wants you to look up section a row c seat seven so then you go to this box and there's a four digit code you entered and that's the only way for the game to start up and then of course you got your defense and offensive playbooks these are both 20 pages long 81 plays each and it explains all the formations and the icons that you see in the play diagrams. So you get you know, all the details on the formations. There's a lot here. <laughs> when I play later, after the intro, I don't 
I don't even reference these. I'm, I'm just trying to go quickly through the game. I only play one quarter or two because it's so slow paced. So you don't necessarily have to look these up if you know plays. But they don't show you diagrams in game. So that's the only way to see them. Of course, here's the game disc. Just a regular floppy disc. And the warranty card, which I did not fill out. And I must have missed out on some special offers. And this is just an advertisement with a bunch of other Electronic Arts games that it published on the Commodore 64. Even though this was 89, it had already published a lot of games. I think EA was founded in 82. But by 1987, it was publishing 20 plus games a year. Became a big publisher relatively quick. There will be scans of the box on the blog as well if you want to get a closer look. One last thing before I go to gameplay I want to mention is you can print out stats. So I have some that I printed out I guess 30 years ago. I mostly just wanted to show the paper to the younger viewers. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with old printers, your dot matrix, I do still have the printer but I'm sure the ink is long dried out. Basically, these dots were on both sides of the paper. So you'd feed it into the printer by latching these onto notches. It would scroll and pull the paper through. And then after you print, you can rip these right off. And then you have your regular paper. This here is just the final score of 49 to nothing. And then there's four pages here of stats. It leaves a lot of gaps, which seems to waste paper. But this is just a single game. So it has a lot here. It's just like a full box score. It gives you the, the team stats, the scoring summary, and then breaks down by position, the quarterbacks, the receivers. So a lot of stats, if you like stats, you can just keep printing them out and saving them like I did. But I don't know if I printed out too many. This is the only one I think I still have. And I edited the team that appears here. It's It's got players I named based on NFL players at the time and myself and people I knew. All right, so let me go to the gameplay now. All right, so this is the main menu, essentially. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much. And the options here basically you know under the play menu hold down the button and i get a bunch of options as far as i just want to play a quick game a standard game load a saved game or practice now the chalkboard is where you design plays edit plays or create a team so i'm going to skip that though i mean all of this stuff takes a long time <laughs> a lot of disc swapping a lot of just menus that are not user friendly I mean when you go to the creative team it looks like this it's just a top menu like this I mean there's just a few things and then you gotta you know one at a time like enter player names it's just it's a long process that it's not worth showing but it's there so quick game would be the fast way to start but I'm gonna go with standard game so I can show you you know all the options in the game but this also has <laughs> a ridiculous amount of disc swapping so I'm not entirely sure I should edit that out or just you know let you see all of it it's just I don't know if there's any other game quite like this if I do edit it out I'll write a list and tell you or put one screen in there <laughs> that shows how many times I, I change the disc Okay, so if you skip the intro, you would have missed the uh, the little code wheel. This is the security on the disc, basically, like anti-piracy. I've got a, a two-wheel disc here. i got to go to... It's like giving you like a ticket stub type thing. So I'm going to section 7. Then i got to rotate the wheel to go to row J. And then it wants seat 5. It gives you a four-digit code to enter. So you need to enter this for the game to load. Alright, so this 
is where you set up all the basics of the game. Now, the field conditions, you're not going to see any of this on the field. If you select snow, it's not going to be snowing. You're not going to see a white field. It's just, it affects the player ratings. But on the Commodore, there is no difference. I've not played the Apple or DOS version, so I don't know if those maybe have better capabilities to show these things. But Commodore version, no, it always looks the same. It just affects the ratings, it says in the manual. I don't know if I'm going to even get through a quarter. <laughs> this game is so slow. And you'll get, obviously, a pretty quick understanding of how it works after just a few plays. I'll, at most, I'll do a, I'll finish a quarter, but I don't know if I'll get through it. So then you just set up, if you want the computer to be the home or visitor team, Madden being the computer, two-player game, and then all this other stuff you can turn on or off. Main things here are really the, the crosshair passing, and maybe the 30-second clock, because it can take a while to enter plays if you're really being particular about what you're selecting the announcer is not a play-by-play -play announcer there's no there's very little audio in this game what it is is a recap of the previous play it's just text on the screen telling you what player did what I'll just leave it all as is all right so now here comes the disc swapping I've already got all the discs, so I don't need to format anything, but I'm going to make noise because the disc drive is not close to me with this setup. I have to keep getting up. Yeah, I think I'm going to edit out those screens. I've uh, First I had to go to the... I started the program disc, then I went to the game disc. Before I can even get to this screen, after the game disc, I then had to go to the data disc. And now this is just to set up the visitor team. <laughs> Once I do that, I'm going to have to change it again. I guess I'll do all timers versus all Madden. Let me show you the the options here. All right, so these are the teams in the game. There are no real teams. They are based on teams. Some of them. Oakland is based on the Raiders. Blitzers based on the 49ers. Or no, not, I'm sorry. Blitzers of the Chicago Bears. Eaters of the 49ers. And one of these is based on the Steelers. <laughs> I think it's, let's see, the Ringers. And the rest of them are just other teams they made up. But it does, since it doesn't have NFL licensing, it uses player numbers mostly but you'll see names on the if you use the announcer and see the recaps you'll see the names they usually will do like um a nickname or like a part of a player's name or a slightly different name i think i think there's terry b which would be terry bradshaw there's sweetness which would be walter payton so if you know football like older players I mean, this game came out in 1989, so it's not going to be anyone after that. Then you would know. You could probably guess who some of them are. Let me just cancel that. I don't want to load a team. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> uh, this game is pretty difficult to set up. I thought I was already on all timers once I canceled out of that. Okay. So you can set the difficulty separately from the visitor and the home teams. And this is the visitor team, so this doesn't really matter, the home field. Although, I guess maybe it affects the ratings somehow if. The home team and the visitor team have the same type of surface. That's possible. And the coaching style, I'll just leave as normal. And then I'm going to do some more disc swapping. Like the uh, visitor setup, I have to do a couple disc swaps. So I'm going to leave it 
the all Madden team. Basically, I'm going to leave it the same as the last one, though I'm the coach, so I don't have to set the AI. I'll just leave this on grass and normal. Like I said, you can't tell the difference on the graphics for any of this stuff. All right, we're just swapping. All right, here we are. So to set up a, a standard game, took seven disc swaps in all, twice per team setup, and then three times after setting up the teams to get to this page or this screen. So there's a 4% chance of precipitation, calm winds, 67 degrees. And I'm going to call heads. Even though I'm the home team, it really should be uh, visitors calling. I guess I, even though the computer has... I, mean, I still have to hit the button to activate what they choose. They're choosing to receive. I'm using a, a Genesis gamepad. Which controls pretty much everything. If you play a two-player game, defender has to use the keyboard, offense, the controller. Because you don't actually control players on defense. You just set plays. And you'll see why. I mean, it would be hard. <laughs> the viewpoint, it just, it's kind of a uh, slow. I mean, I guess you'd say a really bad frame rate. So, kicking is automatic you just press the button and it goes you do have the option on punts to aim where you want it to go see the beautiful graphics you can even kind of see the ball <laughs> it's, it's not easy I'm the red team on the side of the screen you see two bars The top bar is quickness, it's basically a speed boost, and the bottom bar is strength. Essentially means how hard the guy is to take down. So that's what you get for announcer. When you select announcer, you get this. It's a little hard to read some of the uh, letters on my screen anyway. I don't know, it's just HDTV or it's just slightly fuzzy, but it looks like kickoff. I don't know, <laughs> it's like H's, but it's probably like Jan Stew, maybe. 66 yard kickoff. Returned by Gale. It's 20 yards tackled by Hammer. So you'll get those recaps after every single play with the announcer turned on. But all this loading, you're going to have to keep loading between the huddle and the action. This is considered the huddle screen. I'm calling a defense. I'm up top. So you just aim in a direction to choose what formation. And then call the play in that formation. Now I'm just calling things kind of <laughs> random. Uh, I showed in the intro there's a defense playbook and an offense playbook, but I'm not going to take the time to open those up and choose my plays. Just try to do this as fast as I can. Now you can see obviously the formation the offense is taking, and then you can see all the numbers of the players that are on the field, and you can use those numbers to select individual players and then audible those players before the snap. Pay attention to the computer's passing because it's probably the only completions you're going to see is <laughs> I can't pass. Well, I'll try, but it's, it's hard. I don't know if this microphone picks up the disk drive, but it's making a lot of noise as it keeps loading. So here, I like I can type in player 30 and then give them an audible. Like tell them to blitz. So I'm doing 
doing this all with the controller, I double, there's only one button on the Commodore, so I double click the button to call up the menu, and then just move the gamepad and press the button again to, to choose what I want. So the console versions that came later are much easier to play, because you can just, you know, obviously it doesn't have to keep loading, and you can just cycle through the plays and see them on screen, the diagrams. They're doing a running play. They didn't get anywhere. Running outside is the way to go in this game. It's the only thing I've had success on while I've been kind of relearning the game slightly. I think Buck Kiss would be Mike. Buck Kiss? <laughs> it's just spelled differently. Oh, your guy was injured, and he's out for the rest of the half. I do have injuries on. Of course, it's only for one game, because you don't have season play or any progressive play. It's just single games only. Tell this is time consuming because you gotta wait for the computer to call their play. But when I was trying to figure things out, I kept having delay of game penalties. So I consider turning off the 30 second clock, but I don't I don't know how fast the computer if it I don't think it would make any difference as far as how fast they call. You can tell there's just no sounds really. You get the whistle, some little dinky noises, <laughs> they're passing. I can't even tell if he caught it. Incomplete pass. When you score, you do get a, a crowd chair, but that's it. I mean, nothing, no other special screens. Alright, it's fourth down, so I expect they're going to punt it. And... I screwed up, and I don't know if I can back out of this. <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, there we go. Oh man, I'm, I'm hitting all the wrong things. Where is punt return? There it is. Alright, got it called. So I do read do control the, the kick returner. So the computer used about a minute and a half of the quarter. Like I said, I'm probably not even going to get through the quarter. Oh man, they're faking it, aren't they? Oh wait, no, they kicked it? <laughs> I can't even see the ball. I thought the punter was running. No, I guess they kicked it. Uh, I guess I'll return it. Could do a fair catch. I can't tell what's going on, though. Oh, I reversed. Go the other way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get very far. Yeah, for a second I thought the uh, punter was running forward. I never saw the ball. It's a little tricky to see sometimes. The punt race turn is White Shoes. It's a nickname of Billy Johnson. I really only know a few players. Most of them are before I started watching football. This team does have Walter Payton. And I think Riggs is 
the other the other back. So I'll try passing sometimes, but I'm mostly gonna run. I'll start with a pass just to kind of show it to you. So you have the option of, of using crosshair passing or not. That basically means with it you have to lead the receiver. Without it, you just have to select the receiver. I'm going to try to lead the receiver. But it's not easy. You can also let the computer control the quarterback if you want. And just, you know, do the play calling. Yeah, it's a man in motion. It'll switch to the other screen. There you go. So now there's a timer counting down. Ugh. Try throwing to this guy. Oh, I guess there was a guy on him. I couldn't even see him. I thought he was alone. So that's basically it. You move the cross here and say where you want to throw it. So my quarterback appears to be Terry Bradshaw. But, like I said, this is just a slow game. I mean, you see how long, you know, just keep loading everything. And then the whole passing game is rather sluggish. Play calling takes a little bit of time. Yeah, it's not the Madden you know if you only know the console games. There is a sequel to this game. So, this game came out in 89, and then Madden on Genesis came out in 1990. And then this game got a sequel in 1991. Still no NFL license as far as I as I know. I, I never played it. It's only on DOS. It wasn't on Commodore. So, oh, that's not going to work. The defender broke his the tap or the uh, blocker there. I think toss plays might be the best. That was a sweep. So I imagine the sequel is similar to this, but PCs I bet don't require all this disc swapping. They have more memory and probably better graphics. Actually, I know it has better graphics. I mean, I've seen the screenshots. Actually, look more like football players. Uh, there's a toss. Maybe try this formation. Actually, I pull off a 51 yard run and then a 32 yard run. I was playing earlier. Tackle at the one yard line, though. And then a call to a holding penalty set me back. I did eventually run it in. So there are penalties, but I mean they're just random. I don't have any control over them. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah, toss plays are good. It's a nice run. Oh no, personal foul, what? That's no good, it's a beautiful run. I don't know if that's tacked on at the end or it's called back completely. It's probably called back. Yeah, it's third and 26 now. Boo. <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Alright. Well. Not much I can do. I, I wasn't controlling whoever did that. All I control is the runner. Uh, 
Blockers, block that guy. Yeah, I got through. <laughs> I think I got first down. Pretty good run too. He did get a little crouch here there when he make a nice play. Yeah, running to the outside. It's the way to go. That would be Walter Payton. So we can try another pass play just for the heck of it. Maybe I'll actually complete a pass. There's a Hail Mary, but probably don't want to do that. So this game really is more about the play calling than the actual playing. I mean, you could play it, obviously, but it's probably closer to a management sim than an action game like you get on the consoles. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> well, I'm not going to complete that. I hit the button too early, so when the the other viewpoint came up, I wasn't. I thought I hadn't hit it yet. Yeah, well, I messed up basically. Try a pass again and hopefully not mess it up. Okay, here we go. It's hard to get that where I want it. Incomplete. Yeah, I guess I'm not leading him enough. Penalty on the defense. All right. Got a break there. Doesn't tell you what player though. We should go back to the run. Not having much luck there on the passing game. I didn't expect to. Try another toss play. didn't go so well. Oh, look, another penalty against the defense. Intentional face mask. Quite a few penalties. I mean, I played a quarter earlier. And there was just the one holding call, I believe. these are like what is a boom I think it's probably a run up the middle maybe I don't really know it doesn't say toss or sweep I'm not entirely sure those nice they'll say lead which is usually straight up the middle 
like a QB draw I know is draw plays are often up the middle but I'm no expert I think I know more considering how many video games I've played Whatever it was, it didn't work. One yard. Let's tell you what the defense called. Maybe they just called, they called a, looks like a goal line. Then maybe I was calling goal line. I wasn't even paying attention to how they were lining up. Let's see here. Has some toss plays. Yeah, I guess I'll play the whole quarter and then I'll pull up the stats, which does require disc swapping. <laughs> you can't just pull them up in game without jumping between a few discs. And then I'll end it after taking a look at the stats. Oh, the motion sure takes a while. Speed burst. Well, quickness easily gets in. Yeah, Walter Payton for the touchdown. Yeah, now you get to watch the extra point, which is very exciting. Just hit the button so that I can kick. I don't, you know, honestly, I'd be fine if they just told me if he made it or missed it without having to watch it. Of course, this is well before the two point conversion came into play. Oh, it looks strange. It looks green. It's like a dark spot to the left. Yeah, it's good. We're still at three and a half minutes to go, so that was four and a half minutes up to this point. Guess I should just keep running most of the time. You know, let's see what an onside kick looks like. Maybe I'll actually get it. Covered by... Oh man, that's me! <laughs> I got the uh, onside kick. Onside kicks need to go 10 yards to be able to recover by the kicking team. And it went 10 yards. I never really expected to get it, but yeah, it's always a possibility. I'm calling this 75 again. I called it earlier. It's the play I got the 51 yard run on when I was playing earlier. But I guess the chances of duplicating that aren't great. <laughs> Depends how well the blockers manage. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is a great run. He blew right through him. I guess it is a good play. Yeah, that was 
<laughs> Not again. Oh, another amazing run called back by a personal foul. I was almost at the 10 yard line. Oh, that is disappointing. That was a great run. Uh, I don't know how many yards it was. I don't know. He's probably close to 50. I don't recall where we were, but. You know what? Let's try a pass. See if I can figure this out. I should run just to use the clock faster. This video may end up rather long. Of course, you could skip to the end if you just want to see the stats screen. Uh oh, I'm gonna get sacked. Oh, look at that, I led him perfectly. Yay, I completed a pass. Yeah, there was a guy coming at my QV pretty quick. I don't know if that, is that far enough for the first? 19 yards. I don't know how far I needed to go, I had the penalty. I think it had to be farther actually. I think I had to go 25. Yeah, I got six more to go. Hmm. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's probably just do another toss play. that up I got sacked should mention you skip the intro there is a, a blog post to go with this video if you want to get a closer look of the items in the box or read reviews from a couple of video game magazines I've scanned reviews from video games and computer entertainment and game players magazine However, the reviews are of the DOS version, not the Commodore version. But, you can see what they thought of it back then. Game Players doesn't give numerical scores. But I think VG and CE gave it mostly 7s out of 10. They rate a few different categories. At least in that issue. They didn't always they didn't always use ratings. Yeah, I think the toss plays are too good. They work quite often. It may just be though, because I have an awesome running back. It's Walter Payton again, so yeah, probably if he was one of the other teams, like the most generic teams like blue or red, they probably can't run nearly as well. Alright, quarter has a minute and a half to go. Should I risk it and try another pass? And the blog, I'm also including a, an interview from 
1995, so a bit later than this. It doesn't really even talk about the Madden series, but it's a interview with John Madden from Electronic Gaming Monthly. I can't even get the uh, crosshair to come up. I'm not sure why. Quite certain that was a passing play. It wasn't like a fake or anything, like a quarterback run or something. I don't... Oh, it says incomplete pass. All right, maybe I was hitting the button too much. <laughs> I passed it right into the instantly without noticing. Uh, I thought he was sacked. Try another toss play. Seems the computer isn't set until the 18 second mark. Of course, last year on Super Bowl Sunday, I posted the electric football video and gave my Super Bowl pick, but that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Not really surprised because the Patriots defense was shaky last year. Been dominant in the first half of the playoff games this year. But when you have two good teams, it can easily go either way. Patriots Super Bowls tend to always be close. Oh, will I make it? All right, as long as there's no penalty. Of course, there's a penalty. <laughs> Offsides. Uh, man, they're being cruel this game. It's only the first quarter, and I've been called for a lot of penalties. It's another beautiful run. I don't know that offsides had much to do with it. it doesn't tell you which player it was. Anyway, if you watched that video last year, you know I'm a Patriots fan, so of course I'd pick them. Probably mentioned then the first game I recall watching was the Super Bowl against the Bears. And I'm using Walter Payton a lot here. He's one of the Bears that easily handled the Patriots. Decent. <laughs> they're offsides penalty. Holy cow. Oh, they're killing me. Trying to finish out this quarter. Penalty, penalty. Yes, yeah, I'm not a bandwagon Patriots fan. I mean, I've been a fan since when they were. And they were to the Super Bowl that year, but. They were largely not very good for a while after that. The other thing though, it's <laughs> pretty odd. I also like the Giants, and then of course they met in the Super Bowl twice. Giants got the better of them both times. I don't know why I like them both, but I grew up in Connecticut right between both teams and they didn't really play each other that much back then, you know, AFC and NFC. Yeah, I blew this play. So of course, there won't be a penalty to save me. One yard loss. 
I don't even know what down it is. He just kept having those penalties. Third down, 21 to go. Clock is counting down. This could be the last play of the quarter and, of course, the game, because I'm going to end it here. Going to try that running play that sometimes leads to 50 yard runs. <laughs> but. It'll be a penalty, right? And there he goes. I think they're going to catch him, but... That was a beautiful run. If there's no penalty. Was that 48 yards by Walter Payton? Beautiful. And that should end the game for me. Yep. He made it to the two yard line. End of the quarter. Not bad. Well, like I said, running is a lot easier, especially with a good running back, than passing. I'm going to call up the stats before I end the video. It's going to take some disc swapping, of course. So that only took one disc swap. It gives you a few options. This is where you'd also save the game if you want to continue later. You can make some changes. That's how you gotta do substitutions. Resume, restart, change the setup, save. I'm just gonna go to the stats. Oh, that requires another disc swap. <laughs> I thought there might have been more. Alright, that was two more disc swaps, so. Once you exit out of the game, it takes three disc swaps to get to the stats. So I was the all Madden team. Six first downs. The computer only had the ball one time. That was when, because I did the onside kick after the touchdown. I just I controlled the clock there. Six minutes thirty-seven seconds. Three for three on third or fourth down. Yeah, I did did rather well. I only completed the one pass out of four attempts. So I had 114 rush yards. Peter had minus two. There weren't any turnovers. But the penalties are really a pain. So here's where you can also print the stats. You can do that post game. Really, no point in doing it after the first quarter. So just doing page down. This is the scoring summary. Passing of the all timers. Here's the all Madden. Here's the rushing. Yeah, it was pretty much all Peyton. The other guy didn't didn't get many. Negative one obviously is not good. One punch return. Yeah, no interceptions. Alright, so that is it. Thanks for watching.